Okay, everybody, here we go. Sit back and relax because I'm telling you, this stuff just keeps getting more stupid. This is my pre-market report on this Tuesday, May 30th, 2023. First of all, I want to apologize for missing my markets a look ahead. I had said I was going to do one yesterday, but I ended up taking a trip out to Tombstone, Arizona. And let me tell you something, if you've never been there, you got to check this place out. Absolutely fantastic. You get a real vibe as to what it was like back in that time. Anyway, I ended up getting home very late, so I was unable to get a video out. I do apologize for that. All right, people, look, let's get back on target here. Let's talk about this supposed uh, uh, debt deal, whatever, uh, by, by the, the mummy man himself and whatever this other freak is, McCarthy. So apparently, uh, you know, th there's some kind of victory going on here. Uh, the meeting of the minds, the confederacy of dunces here well here's the truth okay uh all they have done all right is promise to borrow much more now you got this mccarthy oh yes we're cutting spending nonsense they're cutting nothing zero what this guarantees this this supposed deal that's got to go to congress right now uh it guarantees that the global debt well the debt here in the united states and global debt of course is going to balloon even more so than we would have imagined imagine my shock imagine your shock look this is a freak show on a scale that is going beyond anyone's wildest dreams so i mean what else would you expect did you think that we were actually going to get something good for the american people you still believe there's a two-party system no they're working together in tandem to destroy america to destroy you and i period that's where we're going so the federal reserve oh they must be jumping for joy more than likely this is going to pass through Congress, obviously, and we're going to promise to borrow more from the Fed so the Fed gets even stronger here. Oh, yes, make any of this stuff up, people. Anyway, so on the back of this supposed fantastic deal that we just got, which you can be rest assured, we're all going to take it deep, deep, and deep in the heart of the Gabagool. I think you know what I'm talking about here. Okay, um, on the back of that... There's a little relief here, actually a lot of relief here in the debt market. The 10-year yield has dropped nearly 10 basis points. 3.72. Last time I looked at it, we were at 3.82. You know, as the market was kind of pricing in the default here, at least the debt market was. Um, on the back of the 10-year yield dropping, you got a markedly weaker dollar. The Manorino Market Risk Indicator, the MMRI, has also dropped we did not get to touch that first line in the sand, 250. They want to keep the MMRI away from 250. How do they do that? By keeping rates suppressed, by weakening the dollar on, well, it's already falling apart on an absolute strength basis, but on a relative strength basis or comparative strength, well, they want to kill that too. Um, I think we're pretty much on top of, of all this. So what else is going on? Over the weekend, cryptocurrency is catching a very nice bid. Bitcoin back almost at 28000 This morning, gold higher, silver lower, crude oil under a little pressure this morning. Um, essentially, that's where we are standing with the market here. So th that's essentially what we're talking about. That's what's going on here. Um, and it's more royal screwing, in my view. And I would imagine that you would have to agree with me on this. <laughs> it's just more royal screwing for the American people and the people of the world who are so screwed, frankly, by their uh, ruling central bank. Wherever you live in the world, you are living under a terrible, terrible uh, regime. And that is, again, the central banks of the world who are determined to kill you if you're a member of the middle class. They want you gone. They want you erased. Uh, and our politicians are going to play right into it. We have no representation. You know that. 
This is a whole new entity, people. It's a whole, whole new thing. Now, I'm sitting here this morning, and I'm flipping through Bloomberg, Fox Business, CNBC, and they're all, they're all saying the same thing. They're all getting the same script here, okay? Sticky inflation, sticky inflation. Oh, it's a lot stickier than we thought it would be. It's really sticky. <laughs> well, uh, no, you and I knew this from the day one. This is not going to stop. But let me ask you, while, while we're talking about this, this freak show of a de of a deal that they this fantastic deal that they got the American people it's great because they promised to borrow even more moving forward and it's just going to be great. Well, let me ask you since we we're friends, right? If we know for a fact that the debt is now going to balloon along with deficits as well, um, do you think that maybe just maybe? This is inflationary. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, imagine my shock here. So, as you and I have discussed since, well, I guess forever now, inflation is not going to stop. It's going much higher. Not, you have to understand, not only are you going to see inflation in aggregate, obviously, rise, and it's not going to stop. Food inflation, number one. Food inflation is going to be the number one thing they're going to use as a weapon. They have weaponized the system against you and I. What better way to do that than to have, obviously, something that we all need to survive get harder and harder to attain? Uh, this is how they keep the pressure on the people. This is how they create dependency on the system. As more people suffer food insecurity remember we heard that like two weeks ago food insecurity they're throwing that out um well these people of course are going to have to go lean on some kind of government program uh so they can make ends meet and this creates dependency dependency on the system does this sound familiar to you at least it should because you and i have been discussing this since i don't know how freaking long here so what, what's the takeaway here with regard to understanding that, again, this great deal, this great deal for the American people, again, has to pass through Congress, um, assures that, well, that inflation is going to continue to rise and debts and everything else is going to balloon here. What do you want to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Continue to, again, bet against the debt, become your own central bank. It's not going to stop. Prepare yourself in every way you can dream about for a worst-case scenario, people, because a worst case scenario is going to happen. It's a guarantee. It's a mathematical certainty. All right. Can't stop. But again, they're going to throw it. Oh, yes. They're going to throw these things out. Oh, central banks, they're in the fight of their lives. They're fighting inflation here. Meanwhile, it keeps going higher and higher. Why? Because it's baked in. That's how it works. It's going to get a lot worse here. Stock futures right now. I'm looking at them right now. Dow slightly, slightly in the negative. S&P 500 futures and NASDAQ futures are higher. Let's see how this plays out. All right, because it, it appears to me still this is a buy the rumor, sell the news scenario for this market. Um, it's going to be interesting to see if that actually does play out. Um, you know, people have been buying the news now since they've been talking about a possible deal and it's going to be great for the American people. But is it really? Of course not. It's, uh, it's not going to be great at all. It just assures that central banks, not, in this case the Fed, will get to inflate even more, which is their goal. To inflate, inflate, and then inflate on top of that. What's the goal of a central bank? To become the lender and buyer of last resort. Did you hear, I posted a link Last week, the uh, the author of the Je the creature from Jekyll Island, he himself it said sounds exactly like you and I that this whole thing with the banks, everything that we're seeing right now, this is all deliberate, it is, because it is central banks are on a mission to destroy you, to destroy you, and to bring on a worst case scenario. And the thing about this is, again. A crisis must happen, and that crisis is going to spark fallout across the spectrum that's going to hit people so hard and so fast that, that again, what do I always tell you? People's heads are going to spin around like the freaking exorcist. That's the truth here. But you and I, I think we're ready for it. What, what do I tell you all the time? Whatever they want to throw at us, it doesn't matter. We are ready for it. Just 
Always have the high ground, like we always cover here. Prepare yourself for a worst case scenario, and even if it doesn't happen, you're better off. But in my view, there is no possible way out of it, okay? It's just a matter of when it's gonna hit. And again, it's gonna be very rapid. No one's gonna see it coming. It's gonna be some, it's gonna come out of left field, but some event is gonna trigger it. And I guess we'll see what that, what that happens to be. Um, your guess is as good as mine. I would love to hear from you. What do you foresee this event being? Because it has to happen that way. There's no other way, because again, we go from crisis to crisis to crisis. We don't function normal anymore. It's just all about this crisis, that crisis, and the other crisis. And every and, and the, the miracle thing about all of these, what's the common factor to every single crisis, including this one? You got to throw more cash at it. You understand? It's all a mechanism to continue to borrow, to pull cash into the now. And all that guarantees is a worst-case scenario outcome. You understand?